Hey everyone, it's Allie and Queen Milan with Bold North Frenchies. I wanted to do this video today because gosh, I wish there would have been a video like this when we ran into the issue that we did with Milan. Now Milan, as you can see, she is full grown, but you can see she is really tiny. She's about five pounds. <laughs> Her nail is stuck in my pants. There we go. She is, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can just see how small she is. Um, very, very tiny. Now, Milan was actually born crunched up in utero. So she had a condition when she was born called metatarsal hyperextension. And what that really means is she got lodged up in utero and was not able to develop properly. So when she was born, she was extremely small and all four leg, all four of her legs were on backwards. They were literally facing backwards. I'm gonna to try to include a photo and a video in this uh, YouTube video because I think it's really important. I have a lot of readers that message me that run into this, they don't know what to do. Now, the first inclination that Bets will tell you is to put the dog to sleep um, because literally there was no way she possibly could have walked. All four of her legs were literally completely 180 degrees on backwards. Um, she was so small, she had no suckle, no latch. So what we decided to do was give Milan a fighting chance. My husband actually hand fed her for eight weeks. Um, he used a miracle nipple um, and literally hand fed her. Uh, she never nursed. Um, this, this is truly our little miracle girl. About five times a day, we did physical therapy with her. So we would lay her on her back and we would do bicycles with her legs and then slowly rotate the leg as we did the bicycle facing forward. Uh, because the ligaments are still pliable, they're still, still flexible when they are puppies, um, slowly but surely, Milan actually walked. We were told she probably would never walk. And as you can tell, she's not, She obviously she's not for breeding. She is our little miracle girl. Um, but as you can tell, her legs are not normal. Um, they, and her foot pads are very, very large. <laughs> There you go. I, I just want to give you an idea of how her legs are now. She can walk really great, but she does get tired. She does get, um, her legs get, uh, she gets a little cripple after a while. And so then we um, obviously have a special area for her. She is such a little boss. Um, she bosses all of our Frenchies around. Uh, she has no fear. She's a happy little girl. She loves playing outside. Uh, she loves her bed. We have a glass pin for her in the middle of our living room. So if she wants to get away and does not feel like she wants to walk around anymore or anything, she has a safe place to go lay down. But she really is our miracle girl. So if you are a breeder and you have a litter and you have a puppy born with his or her legs on backwards, please don't give up hope. Uh, Google metatarsal hyperextension and you can read up all about it. It is very common in bulldog puppies and, and small breed puppies. Um, it's, I would say when it happens, it's not very common that it happens, but the breed, that particular breed is the most common. Um, but with simple therapy, literally five, six times a day, um, just slowly teaching their legs to face the right way, your puppy can uh, obviously live a normal life. This is not something that's genetic with her. It is completely something environmental that happened to her within the womb. Uh, but obviously we would never ever breed her uh, or put any kind of stress on her body. But you know, you don't need to worry that your dog, ha your mom or dad is passing down some sort of genetic disorder um, with this because a lot of times it truly is just an environmental thing and that's exactly what happened in Milan's case. Uh, the vet in the C-section found her lodged up there and she really uh, developed crunched up. So she's falling asleep as I'm talking, but I just wanted to share Milan's story with you. She really is a reminder to us that this is why we do what we do. We love French Bulldogs, we love the breed. Uh, we would do anything for them. And um, she's just a reminder to me that, you know, it doesn't matter the, the size, the limitations you have, anyone can be a fighter and anyone can prevail. And she is truly a living example of that. So her name is Milan but we call her Queen Milan and she knows it. She's the queen of our house, <laughs> she knows it. And um, we just love her to death. So I just wanted to share her story with you. I wanted to encourage other breeders um, to please don't give up hope. Uh, please understand that these puppies need you. And um, 
even if you can get them back to even how Milan is and find them an awesome home uh, with someone who will really appreciate their fighting spirit, you're really winning in life. Have a great day. Bye-bye.